Tonight, a janitor in an East Houston medical building facing disgusting allegations. Police say an employee contracted an STD after the janitor allegedly relieved himself in her water bottle. Now, she claims she caught him doing it on a spy camera after becoming suspicious. Jason Miles is live outside the building with new details for us. Jason. Hey there, guys. Yeah, I'm told the janitor cleaned this building every night and the case against him may already be growing. Late this afternoon, court documents revealed at least 11 more complainants in addition to the lady I interviewed coming forward. Urine samples are part of the business in a family physician's office, but a longtime employee here who does not want to be identified never expected a sample in her personal water bottle. I felt disgusted. The alleged victim says she became suspicious after detecting a foul odor in water from a break room cooler and even more alarmed when it appeared water left on her desk, mostly used to make coffee, appeared tainted as well. I raised it to my face, smelled it, and it smelled like urine. Suspicions eventually prompted her to place a spy cam at her desk. And these screenshots are from a video showing the suspect conducting his regular cleaning duties, but also violating her water bottle, something clearly shown in the full video. I just picked it up, removed the cap, and proceeded to put his penis probably halfway into the bottle, and then he tilted it up. Uh, so that his penis was surrounded by the water. That video was part of the evidence used to charge 50-year-old janitor Lucio Diaz with, among other things, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It's, it's not an allegation. There's video proof. Most disturbingly, according to attorney Kim Spurlock, is that her client, a 54-year-old mother of two, contracted herpes, for which Diaz also tested positive. It's really just disgusting. And my client will suffer the consequences of this man's actions for the rest of her life. Spurlock plans to file a civil suit against building management and others who she claims ignored her client's initial concerns. She isn't surprised there may be more alleged victims, given that Diaz told police, according to court records, he did it in other offices and that it was, quote, a sickness. I hope he's punished. I hope that he gets, you know, what he deserves. And I reached out to the building's owner as well as the janitorial service for which Diaz worked. I haven't heard back from either. Meantime, I'm told Diaz is in the custody of immigration authorities awaiting his first appearance in criminal court.